How important are SMEs to our society? Well, SMEs are the driving force of economic growth, particularly employment producing eco uh, economic growth globally. And there's, there's a wealth of research from across the world, um, from you know, Sweden to New Zealand about this. SMEs have also been a feature of, uh, of, of government planning for the economy and um, supposedly a priority of government since uh, 1994, the RDP white paper. In fact, you can even go back into the 1980s. There's been a tendency to treat SMEs uh, sort of from an outcome perspective, to look at their, to look at the social um, side of what they what they can do, to see them as vehicles for job creation rather than to, to to see them for what they are, which is businesses operating on a reduced scale, on a smaller scale. Um, and I think that around that we 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 start to run into a, into a lot of problems with, with designing policy and with creating an environment within which they can, within which they can thrive. Let's simplify that, creating a, a, an environment they can survive. Are we talking red tape? Are we talking taxation or uh, 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 bureaucracy? Look, one thing that I think, I, I think that, uh, that the national conversation gets wrong is to often simplify these things into, into, into single issues. Um, it's a complex of things. Um, our research shows that probably the single biggest uh, concern for uh, for SMEs is uh, lack of demand. It's simply there isn't there isn't enough business out there. However, we then go on to issues that we that we can exercise some control over. And there, yes, we are talking about um, about red tape. One of the biggest concerns that that SMEs have um, looking towards the future in South Africa is the quality of municipal governance, for instance. That that issue tops virtually everything. Um, must remember, for instance, must remember that our, our municipalities are not simply about, about quality of life issues. They're about um, whether your roads provide you with a means by which you can transport your goods, um, whether your electricity will be on 24 hours a day, um, whether the water that comes out of your, um, out, out of your taps are, um, is, is suitable for consumption. And all of those things have direct knock-on effects to, let's say, for instance, a guest house. If, you have, if you're having to tell guests from, from across the world that they can't, drink, they can't drink the water or they may be able to drink the water or not, I mean, that, that becomes a serious problem. Small business doesn't have a representation at government level. No. Then how are we going to address that? You're the expert, you tell me. <laughs> um, let me address that in two, two separate parts. Um, in, in the first instance, uh, our research shows very clearly that there's two, there's, there's two things businesses want. They want opportunities to um, to actually conduct the business that they um, that they are set up to do, you know, on purely market-related terms inside the economy, and they want and, and they want a business environment that's going to um, uh, that's going to facilitate that. Um, that comes before any um, any thought of, of of political support. My concern about um, about focusing on the on the the voice of the political aspect is that I do think there there, there is enormous potential for that to be. Uh, to be captured by people who want to be the professional voices of sm of small business, rather than the actual entrepreneurs who are who, um, who are doing it themselves. Now, what we have tried to do with a, with our SME growth index is to capture those voices, um, and our sample is the largest uh, sample of SME um, of SMEs that's ever been that's ever been assembled in South Africa. We've run it over two years now. We're moving into the third year, so it um, it is far and away the most uh, the most, the most comprehensive, certainly the most comprehensive that I um, uh, th that I'm aware of, um, and I think it, it's through initiatives like that that we can start that sort um, that sort of process uh, process moving. Unfortunately, because of the uh, because lobbying and advocacy takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of resources and it takes a lot of expertise, which simply is 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 beyond the capacity of um, of your average SME and shouldn't really be their concern. Um, smart, successful countries. You know, we're not we're not just talking about the about first world economies. A country like Brazil, for instance. You know, we everyone's very uh, very enthusiastic about the BRICS. Um, Brazil has had enormous success in in, in encouraging entrep um, entrepreneurship. That has been largely through 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 recognizing that this is the engine of your economy. This is the potential engine. We need to encourage it, and you need to create you need to create an environment within which um, your small entrepreneur can go out and do things rather than you know, creating endless fora for, for, for him or her to, to, to sort of express an opinion, which... How do SMEs grow? I mean, how do they get to be the big boys? Okay, well, look, that's what, that, that's what our, uh, our multi-year study is about. What we've, what we've done is we've taken a sample of 500 firms in three sectors, 
uh, business services, manufacturing, and tourism. And we've been interviewing them uh, uh, once a year for the past two years, and we're looking at doing this in the future to find out, you know, what what are the factors that 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 propel growth or, or shrinkage? What um, what are their concerns in the current environment? You know, and this will give us some sort of roadmap as to you know what what needs to change and what needs to be encouraged. Okay, how do they grow? Um, we're seeing that there that, that 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 there's a minority of our of our sample that are actually looking at at branching into into entirely different fields. Um, you know, business services that may be focused on let's say um, accounting, looking at going into going into IT or something like that. Um, and you know, beyond that, then there are um, then there are the nuts and bolts. Um, are you are you able to contract the right kind of labor at the right prices? Um, are you able you know are you able to find people who are perhaps willing to go to a, to go to an inhospitable environment you know to a little out of the way one stop town to to to, uh, to set up the operation? Um, is the financing available? Um, yeah, I want to talk to you about that financing because that, of course, is is the end story for a small business enterprise. It, it, if they're not paid on time or they're not paid, it's over skadovers very quickly. Yes. One of the worst payers is the government. Yes. Um, okay. What we, we we asked a battery of questions about um, about about tendering. Now, in South Africa, we tend to see tendering as being as being about you know going for government business, but well, it's a dirty word at the moment. It's a it's a dirty word, and, and and with good reason. But you know what I what I'd like to emphasize here is first of all, the majority of our of our SMEs say they don't tender, they don't they don't see any point. Um, secondly, although um, they believe that uh, that government, well, their, their their experience has been that government is the worst player, that. Um, and uh, is also they're, they're also very very serious concerns about whether whether tenders are genuine. Um, we we saw we saw this over and over again. People saying, well, they don't bother to tender because they feel that um, that it's it, it's just a kind of um, a kind of front to, uh, to 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 get to get the quotes, and so a pre um, a predetermined uh, a predetermined firm can be can be given the work. Tendering or fitting into value chains should actually be a um, be a means by which uh, uh, by which you grow, but think about it. Think about it in these terms: the smaller a company is, taking on a large, um, on a larger piece of work from a large company or from um, from government, putting all your capital into doing that, essentially having no other source of income, and then you know being paid you know thirty days late, that can that can push you right up to the wall. The government of the day and the government of the past and the government of the future all want to create uh, a, a black upward mobile. Person. They mm. want to uh, put back into the hands of black people. Mm. Now, there's a limit, the way you're saying, that they can come through in small business because they can't start in the big business sector. Well, a, a luxury 500 may have well have done that. Mm. But the rest are left behind in a worse off situation than they were before because they cannot get into this market financially. And yet we need to create a black middle class, which is what everybody wants. Small business ownership is, is, is absolutely crucial. And one of the reasons it's important is because uh, people who, are make, you know, who, who make those sort of investments have generally put up their, uh, put up their life savings and mortgaged their future. Um, they have an interest in stability. Um, now, studies on entrepreneurship suggest that um, one of the... That, that, that there are a few things that tend to that tend to be color, correlated with, with 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 successful entrepreneurship, and you know here I'm here I'm talking about how you kind of start the ball rolling, um, a, a decent education system, um, small businesses su successful small businesses tend to be your innovators. And there's something Brazil's done very well. Um, they um, they've encouraged small um, small innovative firms. Uh, you know, pr provided them with you know with very minimalistic kind of office space. But you know, to try and uh, to try and make that that sort of process easier. Uh, secondly, um, as I say, a kind of entrepreneurial dis uh, 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 disposition, um, and I, I really don't know how you encourage that. Um, I think that there are a lot of socio-cultural factors built into it. South Africa actually has, um, in many respects, a very sophisticated economy. We need to be more. We need to be doing more of the of of of, of the innovation, improve, in, improvement. Are we a first world within a third world? I think that there are. I, I, 
I don't think that 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 um, those sort of topologies really work in South Africa. I think that they're ele that. That Why are we so unique? That's what I'm trying to... I, I really what? can never get a straight answer on that one. What, what makes South Africa so unique that it keeps saying, well, we can't do it like the rest of the world, we've got to do it our way? Uh, no, 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 I, I, that, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that there are, um, is that there are elements of various, uh, various historical experiences that, that combine to make South Africa a pretty, a pretty unique country. However, that does not mean that, that, that there's no lesson we can learn, we can learn from elsewhere. What's the final word you ah, would like to have? Okay, SMEs are struggling. They they have a they have a they have a very hard time of it. Um, they are not being um, uh, being supported by the environment, um, and they are their their real interests I think have been excluded from um, uh, from the national conversation. And I think there's a very real danger that when people talk about uh, you know institutions to represent them, they they that could simply be um, uh, be a form of rent seeking and capture. What is positive is that they are resilient, and I think that that going forward, if there's going to be, um, if, if it is going to be taught, uh, be turned into the in, um, into the engine of, of of our country, as has been discussed since uh, since the 1980s, the focus has got to be on small business with a, with a stress on business, and to the extent that, um, that that differentiation is going to be made, the stress has to be on the word small, or uh, small uh, small scale, small and medium. I think that um, to get the, to get it moving, um, you know, we we sort of have to ha, um, have to decide our priorities. You know, I, I think that, that that small businessmen of whatever whatever color, gender, or whatever need that sort of um, need that sort of that sort of support. Or, that, or, or let, let me not use the word support. Let me use uh, let me use the phrase enabling. Um, Encouragement. I, you know, I think that. Um, that they are quite capable of encouraging themselves. I think they, they, they're quite capable of doing things for themselves provided the opportunities are there. You know, no matter, no matter how big and tough your, um, uh, your, your car is, you know, you, you will not be able to drive it over the Grand Canyon, it will crash. Um, however, if someone builds a bridge over, you know, the, the, most, the most rickety, you know, cheaply manufactured vehicle will be able to make it.